Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about one-to-one -one functions. So first, define muna natin ano bang ibig sabihin ng isang one-to-one -one functions. A function f is one-to-one -one if it never takes the same value twice or the f of x sub 1 is not equal doon sa ating f of x sub 2 whenever x sub 1 is not equal to x sub 2. Okay, so that is the same y value is never paired with two different x values. So, ibig sabihin, kung same yung y value natin, dapat uh, meron siyang unique x values. Okay, hindi pwedeng magkaiba yung kanyang x. Naintindihan? So, in the Venn diagram below, yung ating function f, dito guys, is a one-to-one -one since not two inputs have a common output. Tama? So, as you can see, um, kada output natin, meron siyang unique input. Okay? So, one-to-one -one yung kanilang relation. Nakita? Dito naman sa may pangalawa, yung the function f natin is not a one-to-one. -one. Since the inputs in negative 1 and 0, tignan nyo to guys, yung input natin kay negative 1 and 0 is may common output or the same yung kanilang output. Tama? So, nagkaroon tayo dito ng uh, many to one. Okay? So, naintindihan ba guys? So, let's have another example. So, determine whether the given relation is a function. Then, if it is a function, determine whether it is one to one. Okay? So, number one, the relation pairing an SSS member to his or her SSS number. So, uh, each SS me SSS member, guys, is assigned a unique SSS number. Tama? So, thus, this relation is a function. Okay? So, further, two members cannot be assigned the same SSS number. So, therefore, the function is 1 to 1. Okay? So, wala naman tayo makikita ang uh, member na merong the same SSS number. Tama? Next, number 2, uh, the relation pairing a citizenship to a person. So, the relation is a function because each person has a citizenship. Tama? However, a person can have two citizenship. Okay? So, ito yung mga tinatawag nating dual, cit dual citizen. So, therefore, uh, this function is not one-to-one -one function. Okay, so naintindihan ba guys? So, proceed tayo. Next, we have a graph of a one-to-one -one function. So, sabi dito, uh, if function f is a one-to-one -one function, then no two points x sub 1, y sub 1, and x sub 2, y sub 2 have the same y value. Tama? So, therefore, no horizontal line cuts the graph of the equation y equals f of x more than once. Okay? So, paano ba natin determine if a function is 1 to 1 using its graph? So, ang ginagamit natin dito guys is yung horizontal line test. Okay? So, sabi dito, a graph uh, passes the horizontal line test if each horizontal line cuts the graph at most once. Okay? So, a function f is a one-to-one -one if and only if the graph y equals f of x passes the horizontal line test. Okay? So, try natin guys. So, which of the following functions are one-to-one? -one? Okay? So, again, ang gagamitin natin si horizontal line test. So, as you can see, nag-draw tayo dito, guys, ng mga horizontal line. Okay? So, sa unang graph, uh, each horizontal line test, isang beses lang natin na-touch yung ating given function. Okay? By the way, ang function natin dito is itong straight line. Okay? So, sa kada horizontal line test natin, once lang natin uh, natatamaan yung ating graph or yung ating function. So, therefore, itong first um, function natin is a 1 to 1. 
Naintindihan guys? So next, itong second graph natin. Dito guys, uh, we have a parabola. Okay? So as you can see, nag-draw tayo dito ng ating mga horizontal line test. Then dito sa ating parabola guys, sa kada horizontal line natin, uh, tinatamaan natin yung graph ng ating functions um, twice. Tama? Ibig sabihin, more than once. So therefore, uh, parabola is not a one-to-one -one function. Okay, kasi nag-fail siya guys doon sa ating horizontal line test. Okay? So next, dito tayo sa third graph natin. So dito guys, as you can see, nung nag-draw tayo ng horizontal line test dito, is yung ating horizontal line, tinamaan yung ating graph ng tatlong beses. Tama? Isa, dalawa, then tatlo. So, it means na this graph is not a one-to-one. -one. Nakuha guys? So, last one, yung pang-apat natin. So, dito, um, pagka nag-draw tayo guys ng mga horizontal line, so as you can see, isang base lang natin natatouch yung ating graph. Okay? Nung ating function. So, this means, uh, figure 4 is a 1 to 1. Okay? So, naintindihan ba guys kung paano natin ginagamit yung ating um, horizontal line test? So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naintindihan nyo guys kung ano bang ibig sabihin ng isang one-to-one -one functions. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!